Finally, a movie that actually gave me goosebumps. VHS. VHS is an anthology horror movie which is directed and composed by several directors. And it's basically about this group of burglars who every time they get a really cute woman to flash her boobs, they get $50. I don't know, it's a really weird thing. And then this guy who they work for finally tells them to go to a house and infiltrate it and take this really rare VHS tape, which he really wants. And they get to the house and they get inside and they find that the house is really disturbing and not what they expect it to be and they find a bunch of VHS tapes and these VHS tapes that they find offer the five short films that are about to be watched by the viewer aka me, you, anybody who watches this movie. Now I've actually been anticipating this movie for a long time because it got a lot of rave reviews at festivals as a really good and unique horror film and in fact it just got on demand today so if you want to watch it you can go ahead and watch it right now. It's going to be in theaters in October but if you want to watch it now if you have a TV because who doesn't have a TV? This movie VHS is the first movie of the year to actually give me goosebumps and it's actually a legitimately good scary horror flick. This is going to be a different kind of review because it's basically five different short films and a sixth one which is basically the whole cover story for what this movie is. And I'm just going to quickly brush over those skits. Film skits. Is called? Did I just call them skits? Skits. What is this? Saturday Night Live? So the first story is basically about these three guys who go on vacation to try to get laid. A.K.A. what I do all the time, right? And, uh, they pick up these two chicks from a bar, and it turns out one of them isn't what she seems. Now, I'm not going to give anything else away, but this is the first story, and this story scared the living shit out of me. It was one of the scariest things I have seen in years. It's the only thing I'm going to spoil about the movie, but if you were at a club, there's two strikes already when you're at a club and this happens. One, this chick has... Huge eyes, and she approaches you. Number two, she repeats over and over again in a really creepy, subtle voice, I like you. I like you. I like you. If that isn't creepy and, like, disturbing, I don't know what is. And this is the most unique story, too, because it's told through these camera glasses, which has never been seen on movies before, and it was a really awesome way to depict the story. The second story is basically about this couple who go away on vacation to New Mexico, I think, or it's some desert vast land. I'm not sure where exactly. And while they're on vacation, there's some person roaming around the hotel in which they're staying in, and he or she, we are never specified until the end, wants to ride somewhere. And this wasn't scary, this story, but it's very, very realistic, and the plot twist at the end of the story didn't really captivate me personally, but I can see why it would for other people, and for what it was, it was a really cool story. It just wasn't scary to me. In my opinion, the third story is basically a really, really crappy rendition and bootleg version of Friday the 13th. The story is obviously really simple, based on what I just said. It's basically about these four college people who go up to a forest and just do their thing. Overall, I like the concept and the idea of what the killer was, but everything else I wasn't satisfied with, and the story just didn't do it for me either, this one. The fourth film in this anthology is basically like Skype, and it's these two people who are video chatting, and the woman thinks that her apartment is haunted, and the guy who was chatting with her is trying to talk her through this without her freaking out the whole time. And this didn't do anything for me either. There was one really good scare in it, but the whole revelation and plot twist towards the end of this one was really stupid too, in my opinion. It just... It didn't make sense at all. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened in this one. And the last segment in this anthology is basically taking place on Halloween. And it's about these four guys who go far away to a supposed Halloween party they were invited to. And they go to the wrong house. And... Shit goes down. This one wasn't that scary per se, but it was just a lot of fun to watch. And it was a really, really awesome way to end this film. But I didn't talk about the sixth one yet. And it's not like a separate story, but it's the story that's tying everything all together. And that itself, it was serviceable for what it was trying to do. It was just trying to set up the story for these five films in the anthology. But it didn't really do anything for me either. It was 
It was creepy, definitely, but it didn't really do much for me. This movie, like other people have said, doesn't really make any sense. The story that we follow with these Spurglers has nothing to do, nothing to do at all with these five short films, and it's basically just there to be a fun ride for audience members who watch the movie. I appreciate that because it's not trying to be this higher thing, it's just, it's, it is what it is. It's a really fun horror anthology flick, and it's really unique, and I, if you're a horror fan, I really recommend you watch this. Out of the five short films that they present to you, there is at least one that you're going to dislike and at least one that you're going to either like or love. And as I already said, I loved the first one. I liked the last one and the other ones I either were okay with or didn't care for. It's a really, really fun time. And I'm going to give it, for what it is, 3.5 out of 5 stars. I have Batman and Robin. This is real. I've been thinking for a very long time to make a video where I just destroy the crap out of this and just obliterate it to hell. But I don't know, it's just this really cool childhood memory that I don't want to give away. But if it gets enough attention in the comments down below, I might just do it. Also, when you see VHS, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. What was your favorite short film and what was your least favorite short film in it? And did you think ultimately that this VHS movie was scary? Also, you could uh, subscribe up there and like the video too. And check out my Facebook and Twitter accounts on my channel, which you can also get above. I am John from Mothman Jones Reviews. See you next time. Mm -hmm.